Today we're going to discuss the 11 pin relay. Today we're going to go over how to distinguish what they are and how we use them. Hi, my name is Craig Michaud and I am the electrical instructor. Today we're going to discuss 11 pin relays. I've been getting a lot of questions on, you know, the difference between an 8 pin and 11 pin and to be quite honest with you, they're really not. I have an 8-pin video, so if you want to click the link above, you can watch that 8-pin video. And it's basically, just like today, we're going to do a discussion on, you know, what do the pins stand for? Because you should really understand how they need to be terminated. As long as you understand how they're going to be terminated, that's going to make your job that much easier when you get out on the job and somebody hands you an 8 or an 11-pin relay and now you have to go wire it. Well, if you understand, especially as an apprentice, if you understand what these pins stand for, doing this job is that much easier. Okay, a couple of things that we want to un understand first is we want to understand what our terms are. NO. NO stands for normally open. NC stands for normally closed. And again, what I want you to understand is normally open and normally closed means that's the state it's in in a de-energized state. So when it's de-energized, so if I was just to hook up wires right now without turning anything on and had power going through um, the normal circuit with the, ener with, the, with the relay not energized, what would happen? So if something was normally closed, that means that the switch is closed and power is going straight through it. If it's open, that means it's broken, meaning power can only go in on one side, and we'll discuss the power in, power out in a minute. The one thing you have to remember, it's the most important thing you have to understand in a relay. We work in a de-energized state. So when you look at a drawing, a ladder diagram, things of that nature, which videos like that will be coming up shortly, um, you're gonna start to see that we draw our ladder diagrams in a de-energized state, and how we make them work is basically what they do. We have to be able to understand the logic behind it, okay? This is why they call it sometimes a ladder logic. You have to understand what's what. PLCs and things of that nature, we're not talking about. This is just basic relay. This is just basic relay and understanding, okay? So as long as you understand, normally open, normally close, we can move on. Okay, so here, this is my base. You have an 11 pin base. What I did is I basically drew it a little bit bigger so that we can actually understand it. You can see what we're talking about. A couple of things you need to remember. Your coil. Your coil is the most important thing you need to remember. Your coil on an 11 pin is always going to be 2 and 10. 2 and 10. You can use this, at, these are 120 volt relays, so you can use the, the, the neutral, you can use the neutral, or you can use the hot conductor, switch leg, whatever you're using to feed either two or 10, meaning two can get my hot conductor or my neutral, but it can't do both. Two can also get my hot conductor or my neutral, but again, it can't do both. So my drawing here is basically showing us that we have the coil, this is the coil. So this is what's gonna energize and pull in to allow this pin to actually operate properly. Just like in our eight pin video, which again, it's the top, top of the page, you're gonna start right at the center point. So a couple of characteristics you need to understand. You need to understand that this little keyway here is facing down. When it's facing down, it's going to be in the middle of 11 and 1. What you're going to do is you're going to count these 11 pins out this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so we start here, we work our way counterclockwise. Stating the terminal numbers is important but it's not as important as what they do, okay? So for this, for this situation, what I drew up on the board is more of a relay type. We use off delays for the 11 pin. They're, they're also a, an 11 pin setup for an off delay, and that off delay is actually wired a little bit different, 
but we do always have a few common things. Your coil will never change. You're normally open and you're normally closed. The only thing that's different is this top section here, okay? So we'll discuss this. One will operate your normally open and your normally closed three and four. Your 11 will operate your, nine, uh, your eight and nine normally closed, normally open. Now typically, five, six, seven, your six would be your common and you would use your five and your seven as your normally open and normally closed. In an off delay, the seven pin is not used. So this pin is not used at all. In an off delay, you're gonna use your five and your six terminal as a tr what we call a trigger, okay? We're gonna do videos on off delay, so don't really, don't really worry about it. You're gonna probably refer back to this video once you start to see an off delay and how they're wired and you know different opportunities that we can make that work so that you get a better understanding of you know typical motor control wiring. One and 11, and in this case six, would be your power in, it'd be your common. They're always considered common. Normally open and normally closed, we've already discussed. Remember, this is all a de-energized state. When I put power to it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to basically switch. Your normally open becomes closed, and your normally closed becomes open now. I hope this video helped. If this video helped, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. As always, as always, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I want to give a big shout out to my, my subscribers. My subscribers, the base that I'm building right now is huge and it's all due to you, uh, you know, my fans, because, you know, I am working really hard to put out videos that you guys enjoy that you can learn something from. And, you know, when I started a year ago, uh, I basically decided that I was going to make videos so that my students who may have missed a day or were working um, and couldn't, you know, understand the concept of what we were teaching, you know, I wanted to create videos that you know, everybody would kind of understand. And then all of a sudden, as I started building this, next thing you know, I started getting questions from other people. And, you know, I've really grown this channel. Um, right now, as of me shooting this video, I was at 1,200 subscribers. And I really, really appreciate everybody who's watching this video and who has uh, subscribed. So, you know, subscribing and sharing and, and, and learning and asking questions, I really enjoy comments down below. Um, I try and do everything I can within it as soon as I can um, try to respond back to you and you know let you know hey you know I do appreciate everything that you're doing and I do appreciate the great comments um, and especially if I miss something and maybe you want to learn something new you know put it in the comments that's great um, as always you can you know contact me at sparkyinstructor at gmail.com I'm sure you've seen it float through the vi uh, video at one point or another but um, you know, you could always ask me questions. You know, one of the things that I enjoy doing is, is teaching and, you know, giving information that can help you do your job better or, you know, make you understand something a little bit easier or maybe make it as simple as possible. It, it, I really appreciate, you know, when you, when you ask me these questions and, and, and give me great comments. I really do appreciate everything. With that being said, Again, I'm, I'm going to say it again. Uh, I hope this video helped. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do me a favor and subscribe. And at the same time, I want you to have a great day and be safe.